Hey guys, I wanted to do a real quick video uh, highlighting uh, a new integration piece which I, I just wrote for uh, for integrating uh, AGI's SDK Systems Toolkit with uh, a small application in Visual Studio uh, that's going to allow me to send information or, or pointing data from SDK to a simulated telescope. I'm actually going to be using the Astronomy Common Object Model Library. There's a, a lot of information on the web uh, regarding this. It's somewhat of an industry standard for uh, astronomy equipment such as telescopes and uh, <coughs> cameras and, and other equipment that uh, that would require a driver to to plug your uh, your telescope or your other equipment into uh, your computer and use with uh, third-party software programs. So. Um, so this is an example of that. You can see uh, SDK loaded here. What I'm going to do is uh, insert a, uh, a facility object. Uh, by default, this facility just goes to uh, the uh, AGI headquarters location. Uh, I'm going to rename this really quick to uh, Telescope. And I'm also going to use the satellite database to insert a satellite. And in this case, I'm just going to search for the uh, International Space Station and I'll insert that object into my scenario <coughs> and in my window now you can uh, you can see sort of the geometric relationship between my telescope location and my uh, my space station uh, orbit so what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and launch this application uh, this is a, a utility that I wrote that allows me to connect to uh, a utility that comes with the uh, the astronomy common object model libraries that allows me to simulate a telescope. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I don't have an actual telescope hooked to my computer um, because I don't own one, but uh, luckily they've provided a, a simulator for me. So. Uh, assuming I have drivers for my specific equipment loaded, I can actually uh, simulate having that device uh, hooked to my computer. So you can see uh, if I had a Celestron telescope, I have the drivers loaded on my machine, I could, uh, I could easily hook to that particular telescope. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to use the simulator that comes with it. And this is going to load a, a telescope simulator window. This shows me my uh, pointing information for my particular telescope. I actually can go in and, and specify some parameters for it, um, such as the side information, where the telescope's actually located, uh, what type of mounting it's using, some of the interface capabilities, the optical uh, properties for it, etc. Um, so what I'm going to do is I, I see this uh, information has come in now from my telescope. I'm going to connect to SDK, and it's going to bring in uh, any facility objects that I might have that I may want to use as a representative telescope, and any satellites that I have that I may want to use as targets to uh, point my telescope to. So I'm going to select my telescope facility, and I'll notice that they're actually in different locations, uh, which is no problem. I can just copy this information uh, into these boxes. So I'm just copy and paste these in. And when I click the adjust button, you'll notice that the telescope will actually jump to the correct location. Uh, and it did there. So now I know that my uh, simulator and my SDK object are uh, geographically in the same positions. I can <coughs> go into my SDK simulation and I'll actually play. I'm playing in an X real-time mode, which uh, if I look down in the right-hand corner, it tells me my real-time multiplier is 1, so I'm animating uh, in simulated real-time. And what I'm going to do is select my SDK satellite, and it's going to start bringing in my pointing information. You can see that it computed access. I have a, uh, an access line being drawn to my satellite from my telescope location, and that information is coming in to, uh, to this application. So I can see what my azimuth elevation and range uh, information is between those two objects, um, you know, with uh, with respect to my telescope location. So 
if I click the uh, point telescope button it's actually going to send all of that information uh, at some rate to the telescope simulator and uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of slew commands being sent to the telescope simulator so I can see what my azimuth and elevation angles are coming from STK and I'll notice that uh, that this lines up with the information that my simulator is getting. I can actually bring up a traffic window for this and I can turn on all of the slew, sync, park, unpark, and uh, home commands that are being sent to the uh, telescope and I can see all of the slew commands being sent in uh, from my application to my uh, telescope simulator. So I'll go ahead and clear these out and close that out. <coughs> and uh, and this information uh, obviously is, is going to be uh, where I would realistically need to uh, point my telescope if I had one uh, actually connected to my computer it would be receiving these same commands uh, so if I wanted to look at the space station for example and I knew my my site information where my telescope is I could easily have SDK calculating uh, where the telescope needs to point and uh, through some simple integration work I could actually send those commands to the uh, to the equipment so uh, that's it thanks